today i start on important topics related to linear algebra especially algebra okay we we'll start this topic we we'll first write this topic's name okay so we we'll are first write this topic's name composition of okay linear transformation Okay, uh, so discuss today composition of linear transformation. Understood? This one obviously one important topic related to linear transformation and obviously related to algebra. Okay, so we start from that. <coughs> we know about that means addition of operator scalar multiplication of operator or transformation okay that means the sum and scalar multiples of these transformations were also known so today we discuss just starting from one theorem okay we um, write the statement of this theorem now let p w and z be vector spaces the vector spaces over the same field A over the same field A okay and let let T V to W let T V to W and U W to Z be linear okay then what happened then u t okay here p to z u t p to z p linear we have to prove that okay now also going to discussion of proof i think this one is too easy this one this t and u the linear we don't know about that linear means additivity and um, and scalar multiplicativity is satisfied okay and then we're also going to discussion of u t linear how this one happened so also uh, discuss this one okay then we talk about that okay let xy belongs to p and a belongs to A. Okay. Then what happened? Then ut ax plus y equal to u of t ax plus y. Understood? Equal to what? Equal to u of e dx plus dy okay then equal to what equal to here a of u t x plus u t y okay then what happened then this one equal to here a okay u t x and u t y then we erase our portion and going to further discussion of that okay so we also that means discuss that utb linear understood so what is here that means u and t is linear so we also see that here 
दैट मींस यूटी भी लेनी है ओके सो यूटी एक्स प्लस वाई इक्वल टू ए ऑफ यूटी एक्स प्लस यूटी वाई अंडरस्टूड ओके Hence, what this implies? What this implies? U T B linear. Okay. So here we also discuss this one. Okay. That means U T satisfies this conditions. Okay. That means this one be a linear transformation. We also discuss this one. Okay. This transformation U T composition of U and T be linear. So U T be a linear transformation. Okay. Understood. So also going to discuss of another theorem related to that so it is that portion i'm going to further discussion of that okay We write here theorem. Let V be a vector space. And let T U1 U2 belongs to LV. Okay. Then what happened? Then first one here yeah. T of U one plus U two equal to what? T U one plus T U two. Okay. Now and here U one U two of T equal to U one T plus u2 t okay then we write here p t of u1 u2 equal to here t of u1 u2 and next c we write it here t of i equal to i of t equal to t okay then we also discuss t a of u1 u2 equal to a u1 u2 equal to u1 a u2 understood for all scalar a for all scalars a not a problem at all understood this one is too easy we we'll not discuss more now just with that this statement of this theorem okay so now we're going to discuss of that means related that means how linear transformations going to be and that means one matrix representation of this linear transformations how this one is formed well, so going to discussion of now okay so we erase that portion and going to discussion of that
how to tie them again. So, we're also going to discuss in, in this way, like T V to W, okay, and E O W to Z, okay, the linear transformation, the linear transformation. Then what happened? And late. Okay, a equal to u here beta gamma. Okay, and b equal to b equal to t here alpha beta. Okay, for alpha equal to alpha equal to v1 v2 dot 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 vn and beta equal to w1 w2 dot 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 wm and comma equal to okay and comma equal to what z1 z2 dot 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 zp are the order basis for are the order basis for v w and z respectively okay then what happened then well so we would like to define the product a v okay that means product of a b we also define the product a b equal to what okay that means a b equal to u2 here alpha to gamma okay then how this one happens happen we write it consider consider the matrix ut ut equal to alpha comma okay then what happened then for one less than equal to z less than equal to n we have we have what we have in a job of person and going to further discussion of that we have in this way ut here pj equal to u of t pj okay equal to u of T V J equal to K equal to one to M. Okay. Beta of K J. Beta of K J here P is sorry W K. Okay. Then this one equal to what? This one equal to I equal to that means this one we write it in this way k equal to 1 to a beta kz okay u of wk then u of wk equal to we write it in this way k equal to 1 to a beta kz okay here i equal to 1 to p a i k okay here the z i understood u of w k equal to this one 
then what happened then we finish your portion and going to further discussion of that okay then this one equal to here i equal to 1 to p okay and k equal to 1 to m beta a i sorry we write here a i k beta k j and z i okay sorry beta k j in here because k is not function in z i okay so we write it this one equal to i equal to 1 to p c of i j z i understood not a problem at all Fire c of i j equal to k equal to 1 to m a i k b k j okay then in this way we also write this one u t v j equal to how we express this one okay then we erase that portion and going to further discussion on definition okay We write it here one definition related to that okay so here let a b n let a b n m cross n matrix okay and b b n and b b n n cross p matrix okay then what happen then we define the product we define the product of a and b product of a and b denoted by denoted by a b okay and to be the m cross n to be the m cross p matrix okay to be the m cross p matrix such that such that what happened here a b of i j equal to summation k equal to 1 to m 1 to n sorry 1 to n okay a i k b k p k j sorry k j then 1 less than equal to i less than equal to m 1 less than equal to j less than equal to p understood that means this one m cross n this one m cross p so in this way we also define a b this one is too easy i think and we write this one note that this a b i j is the is the sum of sum of products of corresponding entries sum of products of corresponding entries from the i through of e from the i through of e and z column of b okay so this one is we write this definition i think all are understand this one okay 
so now we give one example related to that topic okay Where is that portion and going to further that discussion of that? Okay, now we is we are here. Yeah, right example. Let we have one zero two four and one minus one this one one matrix and four two minus five this one another matrix okay then what happened is here here one multiplied four two multiplied two and one multiplied minus five okay zero multiplied four four multiplied two and minus one multiplied minus five okay this one equal to we write what four four minus five that means three okay mm. sorry here we try do wrong okay here, here plus five then this one is 13 and if we write in this way then here is three okay so what we get we also get this one this one is two cross three matrix this one is three cross one matrix okay and we get what we get two cross one matrix okay in this way we also did one matrix multiplication okay or that means we also discuss composition of linear transformation in this form okay so now we going to discussion of another topics okay we know about that a b of i j equal to what equal to we know about that then a b i j whole transpose equal to a b j i okay then this one equal to what here k equal to 1 to n a of <coughs> a of that means um, j k and p of k i okay then this one equal to what this one equal to but it is a portion and going to discussion of that okay here b t a t whole i j equal to what equal to summation k equal to 1 to n okay b t whole to the power i k and a t whole to the power k j okay this implies what k equal to 1 to n b whole to the power k i k i and a whole to the power j k okay this implies what this implies in this way this one equal to k equal to 1 to n b of k i a of j k okay so we write in this way k equal to 1 to n a of j k b of k i okay this one some felt so this one is commutative i think okay then what happened is here that means the transpose of a product is the product of the transpose in opposite order okay well, so discuss what we write it here therefore the transpose 
द ट्रांसपोज ऑफ ए प्रोडक्ट द ट्रांसपोज ऑफ ए प्रोडक्ट ओके इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द ट्रांसपोज प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द ट्रांसपोज इन इन द ऑपोजिट ऑर्डर इन द ऑपोजिट ऑर्डर अंडरस्टूड सो नाउ वी गोइंग टू डिस्कशन ऑन थियोरम रिलेटेड टू दैट टॉपिक ओके We write it here theorem. Okay. Let V W and Z, V W and Z be finite dimensional vector space. Be finite dimensional vector spaces with order basis. फैक्टर स्पेसेस विथ ऑर्डर बेसिस ओके अल्फा बीटा एंड कामा अल्फा बीटा एंड कामा रेस्पेक्टिवली ओके देन व्हाट हैपन लेट टी भी टू डब्ल्यू ओके and q u w to z okay be linear transformations be linear transformations okay then what happen then u t here alpha gamma equal to u of alpha gamma and here t of okay is sorry u of beta gamma and t of alpha beta understood in this way we also discuss this one but just we like in this way okay and obviously also that means going to discuss an another corollary related to that topics ओके हियर लेट भी बी ए फाइनाइट डायमेंशनल भी बी ए फाइनाइट डायमेंशनल अनल वेक्टर स्पेस वेक्टर स्पेस विद एन ऑलर बेसिस वेक्टर स्पेस विद एन बेसिस, ओके, बीटा, एंड प्लेट, टीयू बिलोंग्स टू एलबी, ओके, देन व्हाट हैपन, देन यूटी, बीटा इक्वल टू यू बीटा एंड टी बीटा, अंडरस्टूड not a problem at all okay so let v be a finite dimensional vector space with an order basis beta let t u belongs to l v then u v beta equal to u beta and t beta okay now we're going to discuss an another that means Example related to that topics. We erase that portion and going to further discussion of that.
we write it example okay let u let u p2 r 2 sorry p3 r 2 p2 r okay and t and t here p2 r 2 p3 r be the linear transformation respectively be the linear transformation respectively okay defined by defined by what u of fx equal to f test x and here t of fx equal to integration of 0 to x f t dt okay then what happened okay let alpha beta okay with the order basis for with the order basis for okay for p3r and p2r respectively and p2r respectively okay alpha and beta then what happened it follows that it follows that what ot equal to i understood the identity operation the identity operation okay or transformation on p to r ut equal to what the identity operation on p to r why because t p to 2 operation on p to r okay then then what happened that means we observe that we observe that we observe that what we observe that here u t beta u t beta equal to okay equal to what equal to u alpha beta and here u alpha beta and obviously we write t t what t beta alpha okay then then which then this matrix gives what it is that portion i'm going to further discuss of that equal to what equal to zero 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 one zero 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 two zero 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 three understood and here zero one zero zero and zero zero half zero okay zero 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 one by three understood then what happened then we 
talk about that this one is one zero zero okay obviously this one zero zero and this one is zero one zero and this one is zero zero one okay that means i think we uh, obtain here i in beta okay understood so this one is too easily we done it not a problem at all uh, so discuss in a too easy way okay so today i'll stop here if you get this type of video please subscribe my channel and if you want to give like please click on like options and if you have any comment questions suggestions write it in comment box okay so today i stop here thank you